Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and this is Trim Healthy Tuesday, where we talk about all things Trim Healthy Mama. So in today's video, I want to share with you five tips for beginners with Trim Healthy Mama. And stay tuned to the end because I'm actually going to throw in a bonus tip. Okay, so let's talk tip number one. Tip number one, and I will say this time and time again until I'm blue in the face, is to buy the book. There is absolutely no substitute for actually purchasing the Trim Healthy Mama plan book. Tip number two, get a sweetener. You're going to go through a sugar detox because, friends, sugar is not on Trim Healthy Mama, but sugar is in everything. And so you're going to have to start getting really comfortable with reading the ingredient lists that are on foods. And I know for me, it was kind of a shocker to see some of the preservatives in chemicals and things that I had no idea what they are in my food. Um, and that's kind of just led me on a whole different journey in and of itself. But you're going to need to start looking for sugar within your food. And I've done a video where I talk about how to get sugar out of your diet, and I'll leave that listed up above for you. Just click, click the little eye, I can't remember which way it shows up, um, and you can go watch that video after this one. But eventually, you're going to go through a sugar detox because sugar really just is in everything. Friends, I have even found it in my table salt. I mean, go figure. Um, and so your body, you might get cranky and irritable and you're going to miss sweetness. If you especially are a sugar monster and you love candy and cakes and cookies and tons of sugar in your coffee, you're going to go through a withdrawal. And so my biggest suggestion would be to get a sweetener replacement. For me, I absolutely love the Trim Healthy Mama sweeteners. They are my favorite hands down. Trim Healthy Mama also has a sweetener conversion chart. So let's say that you decided you're going to use a super sweet blend for all of your, your baking and in your drinks and everything. It's really economical. Um, so you just look up the sweetener conversion chart and it's going to tell you how much, um, if a recipe calls for stevia, it'll tell you how much um, super sweet blend to use. If you have trivia, it will tell you this is um, how much trivia you should use. So look that up as well. It's on the Trim Healthy Mama website, I believe. I think, I'm pretty sure it's in the plan book as well. Um, but definitely get a sweetener. Um, you may have to go through a couple. And friends, you're gonna, it's gonna be a couple days before your palate starts to adjust to a new kind of sweetness. Gentle Sweet from Trim Healthy Mama is the one that is most like sugar. Um, I have found Trivia to be quite like sugar to me, um, dissolved in drinks. Um, but I know some people can't, don't like it. So you, it's going to be a bit of a time test. Don't invest a ton of money into a sweetener. Um, if you got a friend doing a pl the plan with you or you know someone else is doing it, ask to try some of their sweetener. Um, and remember that some of them are super sweet. Like super sweet blend, I can't remember how many times more, but it's significantly more sweet than sugar. So you use just a tiny bit. And same with stevia. You use like a 30, 130 second of a tablespoon to get like I don't know how much it is but a lot of sugar so um, just be aware of that tip number three is to start with a meal just pick a meal and go for it make it THMified um, for me it was easier just to jump in on plan with both feet and do all my meals uh, Trim Healthy Mama style I found that I was sort of eating that way anyways eating more whole foods and not as much packaged goods. Um, certainly they were still <laughs> very much in my diet, but not as much. They were more like snack foods. Um, so for me, it was easier to jump in with both feet and just kind of go whole hog and to make every meal Trim Healthy Mama. However, if you want to baby step your way through it, pick one meal and just make that Trim Healthy Mama. Um, one really easy meal to start off with is breakfast. So pick whether you want to do an S meal or an E meal. It's often recommended in the plan book to start with S meals, to eat S meals for about three days, um, because a lot of us to kind of eat that way anyways. We have more um, fat laden foods within our diets, unless you're really healthy and you're eating like lots of fruits and vegetables and then um, you're probably leaning more towards E. Um, 
for me, it was really easy to do fried eggs because I loved fried eggs. So I would do some fried eggs and butter and some bacon and then strawberries. Um, and of course, my coffee with my sweetener and half and half. And that was like a normal breakfast that I would eat anyways. So that was no problem to dive into that. For your emails, some things like oatmeal and fruit, um, uh, some sprouted toast with a teaspoon of butter. And look at your foundation foods. Look at your S meals. Look at your emails and start to put together meals from those lists. And I think you're going to find that it's going to be quite easy. Log on to... Pinterest and look up e-meal breakfast, look up s-meal breakfast, look up email lunches, etc, etc, etc. And put yourself together a really simple meal plan. Don't get crazy. Don't start like adding in tons of new recipes. Um, keep it simple. For dinner, baked chicken, some broccoli, um, and maybe um, like a little portion of rice, like a half a cup of brown rice. And you've got an e-meal like it that's so simple um, keep your your meals very simple but start with one if your baby's stepping your way through and get that kind of under your belt write things out write a few different meal ideas down and get them kind of going and then once you're comfortable with that add in your breakfasts and then once that's going really good add in your dinners um, and then your snacks and sooner or later you're gonna be right on plan and it's gonna take you no time at all Tip number four, plug into community. I've kind of been mentioning it throughout all of these tips. That's just kind of how important it is. It's so important to get in connection with other people who are doing the plan. You are here. <laughs> this is community. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Um, there are past videos that you can plug into um, and there will be future videos. There are people in the comments that are, are chatting about Trim Healthy Mama who are doing the plan, who may have a, a YouTube channel that you can follow their videos about Trim Healthy Mama. There are Instagram accounts. And most importantly, there is the Trim Healthy Mama Facebook community. Um, there are a plethora of Term Healthy Mama groups. So if you're a pregnant mama, if you're a nursing mama, if you are in Canada, if you are in one of the different provinces, if you are in particular states, um, if you're a purist, if you are gluten-free, if you have allergies, if all of the different things, um, there are groups that are tailored for that. If you're a budgeting mama, um, the main Trim Healthy group, I think the last time I was on it, there was like 170 some thousand women on there. And they really do try to keep it to women only. Um, if you have, if you're a man, they pretty much don't let you in the group. Um, if you share a joint account, that's okay. Uh, but it is really a, a women's group. So, um, but things, because it's such a big group, things move really fast on there. So if you post a question and nobody answers, post it again, uh, because chances are it's just bumped down to the bottom of the page that fast. And chances are your question has been asked before. So there's a search bar on the side of the group. It's the same way in any other group. Search your question, search email ideas, search fuel pool ideas, search your specific question and chances are someone's asked that. Is this product on plan? Is this on plan? Is this whatever? I need help with this or having this trouble. Plug it into the search and you're going to come back with so much information and um, you can just kind of go through all of those comments and I, you know what friends, I sit down with a notebook sometimes and just write things out. You can save posts. Um, so when you are on Facebook, you can click the little down arrow on someone's post and it will say save this post and then it saves it to your Facebook no one else can see it you can go to that saved link area later um, but I save recipes and I save ideas um, so much stuff and then when I'm putting together my meal plans I can go back through there and I can look through all my saved articles of really great recipes and suggestions that people have so plug into community. One other thing I do want to mention is the Trim Healthy Mama membership site. Excuse me. Um, it's trimhealthymembership.com. Phenomenal. Worth every penny. I love it. I'm a member. Occasionally they do sales. Um, 
it is amazing. I was actually part of the program Trim Healthy Mama membership before they launched it to the public. I was part of like the focus group who got to go through um, before it was launched to everybody. It was it was really awesome. Um, there's a forum on there, so if you're not on Facebook, get on the forum. And there's tons of information there, and Serene sometimes posts on there, and Pearl is on there as well. Pearl's also on the Trim Healthy Mama Facebook page uh, group, so she's posting on there quite a bit. But there's a smaller community on the membership site, and your questions don't get lost, and things are archived. So you can go back and read other things. They have a million and one recipes on there. And you can actually search by ingredients. So if you have butternut squash, you can type in butternut squash and we'll come back with every butternut squash recipe on the site. And you know that they're all on plan, unlike Trim Pinterest, because they had to go through, you know, the whole Trim Healthy Mama team to even be put on there. There are videos of Serene and Pearl making, um, recipes and all kinds of things you get to see their personality there's trim healthy mama radio there's trim healthy mama tv there is um they sit down they have coffee chats and they discuss different aspects of the program and y'all there's just so much it's so good and it's just really worth every single penny and it's pretty inexpensive for all of the wealth and knowledge that you get there's a recipe builder it's just it's really good and lastly i will tell you that they have a podcast and this is fairly new at the time of filming i think they have like three or four weeks out of the podcast it's amazing some of these podcasts i listen to four or five times i have cried listening to some of the podcasts like it is just so good and it's all the information that they didn't put in the book and friends it is like life affirming and it's just it's they're really good so it's that's free find the podcast on itunes and listen okay so tip number five is to give yourself grace friends you are learning a brand new way of eating and i say brand new because so many of us eat the sad diet had. Doesn't that sound pathetic? The standard American diet. We are used to all the processed packaged foods. We are used to convenience. We are used to sad food. And this is a new way of eating. And for some of us, it feels like getting back to exactly the way that we were supposed to eat. Some of you may already be kind of on a better health journey and so it's going to be super simple for you to just roll into Trim Healthy Mama. But some of us have struggled for years and for me it's been a life, a lifetime, an absolute lifetime of bad eating and it can be pinpointed all the way from the time I was a baby up until now and I just turned 35. So I, my body has a ton of healing to do um, and that's what I love so much about Trim Healthy Mama is that it's a healing program. I'm healing my brain, I'm healing my insides, I'm healing my joints, I am bringing new life into my body, and I'm becoming who I always should have been. And that's what I love about this program. But you're going to trip up. Um, not all of us have amazing willpower right here, I don't. Um, and you need to give yourself grace. It took a lifetime to get where you are. It's going to take a while to get new patterns of thinking, new a new palette to develop, um, a new way of viewing yourself, a new way of walking through the world. Because if there's one thing I can tell you, when you are making this jagundous life change and no one else around you is, it's hard. It's hard to wade through that. It's hard to say no to birthday cake when you are a cake fiend. It's hard to say no to ice cream um, when you love ice cream. Now, friends, there are so many really good cakes and ice creams and stuff that are on plan. It's just a new way of thinking. It's not necessarily going to be that you can run to the grocery store and grab, um, chips and candy bars and candy for like a movie night. It's just, that just, it's not going to be that way. You're changing how you do things and you need to give yourself grace and if you goof up give yourself grace <laughs> it's okay um they say that it takes about three hours for your body to process all of the food that you you know consumed that was off plan so they kind of always 
the, the term in the term healthy mama world is in three hours you just jump back on plan um, and if this is a lifestyle it's not like you're going on and off plan you just made a mistake and in a few hours you eat better in a few hours you do something different um, and you just roll with it and you pat yourself on the back because the reality is is that you are making like really healthy choices for you and your family and for some of us it is you're in a rut going down life eating all the normal sad American diet kind of foods and all of a sudden you realize you need to make a change because your body is you're getting sick and your body hurts and you're overweight and you're not strong and you're tired and all the bad things and so you realize that and you have to jump out of that rut and if you know anything about getting caught in a rut it's hard to get out of it um, sometimes your wheels gonna break and you're gonna have to like get out of that um, and it's not gonna be easy but it's so worth it so many people who've been on plan for a couple weeks have talked about just how amazing they feel, how good they feel, how um, empowered and healthy and strong and energized they feel. Friends, that can be a lifestyle of always. You don't have to be, you don't have to be that. You can be strong and you can be the mama that you've always wanted to be. And when I say mama, I mean the woman that you want to be. Um, but give yourself grace if you goof. Give yourself grace. You're human, and you know what? Three hours, get back right on plan, and you and you're good to go. It's okay. And if you have a week where you've totally bombed, you can still get back on plan. Give yourself that grace. Life gets crazy sometimes, and sometimes you just you eat all the junk. Sometimes you've got a lot of emotional healing to do as well, um, and sometimes that emotional healing can be a whole lot harder to go through. Uh, than some of the physical healing so just be graceful with yourself and the last tip that I'm gonna leave with you the bonus tip one of that is incredibly important and that I couldn't leave off is to document your journey when I say document I mean take measurements of your body when you start and take those measurements every week um, if you're a member of the trim healthy membership site they do have actual sheets that you can download and print that uh, tell you where to measure and they, it allows for um, you to put a photograph of yourself and to journal out some thoughts. I would encourage you to do that. You can also find um, body measurement things on Pinterest as well. Uh, measure like your neck, your forearms, your biceps, um, measure your thighs, your waist, your hips, your calves. Um, did I say your neck? Measure your neck, like everything. Uh, because you're gonna find that sometimes the scale isn't gonna budge and that's kind of another thing weigh yourself know where you're starting but don't be a slave to the scale because sometimes the scale isn't gonna move sometimes it's gonna stay exactly where it is and you're gonna hear a lot of women tell you throw the scale out the window because the scale is a liar it doesn't give a complete picture of your body and so many women lose inches and they are like fitting in smaller pant sizes and smaller t-shirt sizes and they're going but the scale hasn't moved i haven't lost any weight i'm a failure what friends nobody knows how much you weigh maybe your doctor nobody else knows but you and your doctor you're not that number but they do see if you've gone down a pant size or you've gone down two pant sizes. People physically see you shrinking and women get in the bondage that they are the number on the scale. And if the scale hasn't moved, they're not successful. They're not losing weight. And it's a, it's a lie. So throw the scale out the window. And if you don't throw it out the window, just maybe weigh yourself like once a month. Um, don't be a slave to it. I weigh myself probably once every couple weeks just to see where I'm at, but the measurements are what's most important. And also take photographs. It's really important as well because, again, we get accustomed to seeing ourselves every single day in the mirror and we don't see ourselves shrinking, but other people do. 
Um, and you can look at yourself a month from now and see the loss in a photograph. Um, no one has to look at these pictures. You do not have to post them online. They are for your eyes only. Make like a folder on your phone. Get an app where you lock your photos. Like you put the photos in this little locked app. Nobody can see it. Just you if your phone is stolen or whatever. If you're really that worried. No one has to know y'all. Like, But you can see your stomach shrinking. You can see your waist shrinking. You can see your chest shrinking. You can see yourself physically shrinking. Um, for me, one of the biggest jet <laughs> ways I'm being so vulnerable in this moment I can see myself on my videos when I'm losing it when I'm gaining because I'm looking at myself and I'm going oh well there's that double chin again oh shoot <laughs> I can see myself and sometimes I see like a whole body shot and I'm like okay check out like you need to be doing some movement here um so, but documenting those things. And also, another thing that I want to tell you about is something that's uh, kind of new for me is that I'm actually documenting my feelings in a notebook. Um, that kind of sounds cheesy, I guess. I don't know. But I went to the store, the bookstore, and I went and I found a notebook that was going to inspire me and that was going to be me in a notebook. Um, and I am processing the goods and the bads. I am writing down my celebrations and I'm writing down the things that I didn't succeed at and I'm writing down the whys behind it and I'm getting to know like why I'm going off plan or why I'm screwing up and when I'm screwing up and what those triggers look like for me and it's been really eye-opening. Like I said, um, I haven't quite shared my whole journey here so one day I will but for me, it's been a life, a lifetime, a lifetime of eating poorly, even as an infant. Um, and I've got a lifetime of mind issues to heal. Um, and processing it out has been <laughs> so good for me. I've recorded weight, um, measurements, and different things in this notebook. And it's sort of become just my little place. Uh, no one's going to see this. The only person that could possibly look in this is my husband. And he has more things to do than read about my innermost workings. Um, no one's going to see your notebook. H tuck it away. Hide it away. Stuff it under your mattress if you're worried about that kind of thing. Um, but if you are someone that needs a little bit more working through, I'm going to encourage you to kind of journal it out and write things out and to process it that way. It's been really, really life changing for me. And I did want to show you my pages are kind of the term healthy mama blue. So, um, yeah, it was just fun to find a notebook that just was so perfect and it makes me excited to write in it. I love the pages. I love how they feel and the blue and just all of that. So go with your cheesiness, people go with your cheesiness because you know what? don't deny it because you'll you'll derail yourself i'm learning to accept my cheese and working with it in that because i'm becoming way more successful just being my own cheesy self i don't know <laughs> there's that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you took some tips away a lot of information a lot of information write stuff down um Take away what you will. Leave your best tips for starting Term Healthy Mama if you uh, have been on plan and you're finding success. We would love to hear about them. There are mamas finding these videos who are making this lifestyle change and it's brand new. Um, and your information could be really key for their success. We're all different and we're all in different parts of the, of the journey and parts of the path. And the key with these videos is to help one another along. Um, there's no competition here. We are all doing this together um, and my hope is this that even if you're not on Trim Healthy Mama that you will be able to find some some wisdom and some advice and help along whatever journey that you're on. Hopefully these tips can be applicable for you. So anyways share this video with someone that you know who's starting Trim Healthy Mama. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new here so that you don't miss a video. Check out the i cards. Click that little i button and it'll show you all of the videos that I have linked with this one that may help you out a little bit more and share with you a bit about me and my life and my channel. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And here is to a solid day of good eating. Y'all can do it. Bye.